Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Aaron Milo. Today I'm going to show you how to make vegan pad thai. This has been one of my favorite dishes because it has protein, it has a ton of vegetables, and it tastes really damn good. This is super simple. Sorry guys, I think I need some more wine. La la la, where do I start? The first thing that you need, vegetables. This is amazing, it's $3 and it came with uh, zucchini, yellow squash, carrots, cilantro, green onion, and ginger. If you can find any noodle mixture that's already pre-cut from your grocery store, get it. If you don't have the luxury of pre-cut vegetables, your life sucks, just kidding, your life doesn't suck. Cutting vegetables does suck. However, literally no vegetable that you can't throw into a stir fry. Well, there probably is, I just don't know what it is right now. I found it to be very meditative to prepare my foods now. You just need a bunch of vegetables. Broccoli would be great in this. There's no broccoli in here. So it doesn't actually have noodles. The squash is the noodles. Tofu, incredible in stir fries. I can't get enough of it. Start cutting your tofu. What is that? Put a little olive oil in before you uh, start grilling the veggies. Tofu in. Throw the vegetables in. I like to do it a little bit longer. And then while I'm cooking these is when I will uh, make the peanut sauce. Natural peanut butter. The simpler the ingredients in your peanut butter, the better, obviously. Don't think about it too hard. Just get the best peanut butter you can. The almond butter is great too. Stir this up a little bit. It can actually be as much peanut butter as you want. I like a lot of peanut butter. Liquid amino acids. It's kind of a soy alternative, a lot less sodium. This one is, uh, I think, new. It's the first time I saw it at the grocery store. But they also have uh, one just called liquid aminos that is great too. Apple cider vinegar. A couple tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. The two spices that I use are ginger and cayenne. And also cilantro is really good in this too. I might put some bananas in here. I'm not sure why I got banana chips, but I feel like that would be uh, kind of cool on the top of it. I'll probably put some bananas in this. I have my vegetables cooked. I'm gonna let them cool off for just a second. All right, seconds done, I'm hungry. Just add them to the sauce, like so. Drink some more wine. Forgot that I wanted to add uh, some bananas. Do a little test. It's a little bit too heavy on the peanut butter. I would add a little bit uh, more apple cider vinegar, thin it out a little bit. I think it needs a little bit more of the aminos. A lime for a garnish. Then I add my special toppings. I actually am gonna add the banana chips, almost like my pad thai croutons. Look how beautiful that is. Some sunflower seeds. I got uh, some ground flaxseed, adding some health benefits and some crunch to it, and then adding a little zest of lime. It is so easy to just throw different things into this and make it your own. So I figured out that I put bananas in it and bananas on top of it. Bananas on bananas. Mm, I think this is great. So if you liked this recipe, please like and subscribe. Au revoir.